Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to start adding a few more items uh, for us to be able to interact with and pick up and, you know, kind of add to our inventory and then eventually add to our equipment system. So, uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So, for starters, right, we've got this sword in here, we've got a dagger, a, you know, a curved sword, um, you know, and we can make some more if we want, but for now, at least we have some weapons, which is great. Uh, so what we're going to want to do now is go back to, you know, just the interactables folder and we're going to take this base item and we're going to right click and create another child. And we'll call this BP underscore uh, base armor. Okay, and you can just save really quick. All right now we'll create a folder called armor. And this is where we're going to store anything related to kind of armor and just protection in general. So that could be shields as well. Um, so we'll take our base armor, move it, drag and drop it. And then we'll right click, fix up our redirectors in case, you know, there's anything remaining. Uh, just because sometimes that can cause issues, all right? And a quick way if you want to check, you know, to see if there's redirectors, you can go to filters, other filters, and then check show redirectors, and it'll show if there's any. Um, but there isn't, so we're good to go. So we'll go into our armor really quick, and we're going to take our base armor now, and now we'll create some uh, children classes. So we'll create one that we'll call uh, BP underscore maybe breastplate. Okay, and we'll open that up. And uh, we'll select the mesh. And for static mesh, we'll choose our breastplate uh, model that we have. It's pretty terrible, but <laughs> whatever. Um, next, we'll go to our self here and click our item info. And we're going to you know change some of these values. So for item type, um, you know we're going to change it to armor. Uh, for the item name, we could say you know, maybe steel breastplate, I guess. Just imagine that that's steel. You know, you could change the materials up on it too. Um, and then item image, I'll just choose like a random image, I guess. No, nope, I'm not going to do that one actually. Uh, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Maybe. How about 43? <laughs> Um, it took me a long time to find that, so I paused the video. But anyways, so we'll go with that. That'll be the image that shows up, you know, in our inventory when we pick it up. Um, yeah, so we'll go back out, take our base armor. Uh, we'll create another one that we'll call BP underscore um, maybe helmet. Okay. And we'll open that. And we'll go to the mesh really quick, and we'll choose our helmet uh, underscore with guard. Okay, so we'll say the with guard one, and this will be more of like a helmet. Uh, the one that doesn't have a guard, we could just call, you know, maybe like a, a cowl. I think that's like a medieval name for for helmets or something. I don't know. Anyways, then we'll go to our BP underscore helmet, and we'll change its armor type again to armor and um, item name to maybe steel helmet. Change this, change its image to... Uh, this time I'm just going to choose a random one. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, actually, what would be best to do for the item type, which I forgot to do, is go into the base armor, go to self, item type, right, and we'll set this to armor. So now anything that inherits from this, you know, any children, will automatically be of type armor. So we'll just uh, save all these really quick. Okay, perfect. So we'll create one more um, to be a shield. So we'll right-click, create... BP underscore, I'm going to call this a light shield. Uh, I totally spelled light wrong. Let me fix that really quick. Light shield, there we go. So light as in it's not a heavy shield, so not like actual color wise. Um, and we'll just call this maybe wooden buckler. I think that's that is a name for a shield. I could be totally wrong, but whatever. So we'll just set an image for it. All right, then for item, um, for the mesh, we'll go ahead and choose our light shield that we have. So there it is. It's kind of just a, a little round shield. We also have um, a kite shield that you can make another mesh of, um, but we'll just go with that for now. Okay, so we've done that. Um, that's all fine and great, and that's all we're going to actually do now. Uh, the next thing that we'll do is we're going to alter some of our item info stuff. So specifically, we need to create an enumeration for all the different slots that we'll have for equipping, you know, kind of our items. So um, we'll right-click, 
create a or go to blueprints and create an enumeration that we'll call e um, slots I guess or just slot type maybe yeah slot type we'll open this up okay and we'll add a bunch because uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have ten okay so get rid of that last one this first one we'll just call none by default so it'll just be you know that'll be its default value um, we'll call this one head slot or we'll just call it head um, this will be torso this will be arms and now I'm just choosing arms in general right not like left arm or right arm but if you wanted to do that you could definitely do a left arm or right arm um, then legs feet um, primary right hand primary left hand okay secondary uh, right hand secondary left not secondary left but secondary left hand and then this last one I just kinda threw this in for I don't know whatever uh, amulet you know if you have an amulet you could do that um, so we'll save that now we'll go to our item info open this up and we're gonna add two new variables here the first one is going to be our item slot okay so we'll change that to an e item uh, or not item but e slot type okay all right next we will add one more variable that we will call um, item value and this will be the value of our items which we're gonna end up using this later on so I figured we might as well add it now so we'll change that to an integer like so and we should be good to go so we'll close that now we need to recompile everything because um, we've changed up those values, right? So, so this, you know, if it, anything that uses the item info uh, variable now needs to be recompiled. Um, so we'll open this one up, uh, the base interactable, okay, um, and just recompile everything there. It's uh, that's all good. Now we'll go to the base item, okay, and you see, you know, it's added some new things here in the construction script. So make sure you're in the construction script and just plug these directly in. Okay, so remember, just only the get class here is being changed. Um, all right, so that's all fine and dandy. Next, let's go to the weapons folder, and we're going to add some weapon-specific, uh, you know, kind of item info. So I'll right-click, and we're going to first create an enumeration. So under blueprints, uh, enumeration, and we'll call this E attack type, and this will come into play later. Um, but we're just going to add four. One will be none. This will be melee, this will be ranged, and this one will be magic. Rather, magic with a capital M. Okay, so we'll save that. Now we'll create some, you know, our item info. So we'll right click, go to blueprints, structure, and we'll call this F, uh, or weapon info, I mean, not item info. What am I saying? Uh, we'll open that up. And this first value here we'll call attack type. Okay, we'll change this to our E attack oops e attack type okay we'll add another um, we'll change this to a float and we'll add two more after this so this is going to be uh, the damage that it causes okay then we'll add range which will be the range of the attack so even if it's melee right we still kind of need a range um, then we'll add uh, a kind of attack speed so this will be kind of just more of like rather than speed it'll more of be the delay between attacks um, and you could make that an enum too that's just like has three different speeds and you kind of change up you know how fast you can attack based on the enum value but um, we're just going to go with a, a float here um, then we'll add um, another one here that we'll call attach point okay and basically you know whatever the um, actually no not attack point uh, we're going to need to add four kind of attach points. So the first one here will be primary uh, right hand. We'll change this to a name. We'll say primary left hand. Add another one called secondary uh, right hand. And then secondary left hand. So um, this is just kind of like fully prepping you for you know any scenario really so say you have um, say you go on to set up kind of you know dual wielding for your game then you know then this left hand would come into play but if you're only gonna have you know 
like swords and stuff be able to be equipped in one hand you know then you'd probably just want to do you know only the primary and secondary right hand um, and if you're not going to have weapon switching then you don't even need these secondaries but this is all just you know kind of prepping you to be able to um, extend this further if you want all right now next we'll add is some kind of effects that we can add to our weapon so um, I'm going to add four more variables this will be called attack VFX which will be the visual effects then the attack SFX which is you know of course the sound effects then we'll have attack or not attack but hit VFX so if we hit something you know we might want to like splatter some blood or you know if you're hitting an enemy or whatever uh, then we'll have hit sound or not hit sound what am I saying hit SFX okay so let's go ahead and change these so for both of the VFX we're gonna use a particle system okay particle system now for the uh, sound effects we'll use a sound base so this one will allow you to use either a uh, sound cue or um, a sound I don't know there's another type of sound uh, so again sound base and now the very last thing that we'll add is um, kind of an attack animation okay so we'll just say um, attack montage and this is going to be an anim montage all right there we go so we've got all of our weapon info created all right so we can close that and we'll go to our base weapon and um, open the full blueprint and we'll go to variables add a variable that we'll call weapon info we'll make this editable and we'll go ahead and change this to our f weapon info so compile and save that okay we can close now we'll go kind of do the same thing on our armor okay so um, we'll go ahead and right click and this time we're not going to create an enum because uh, we don't really need it necessarily unless unless you want to do kind of varying uh, kind of I guess types of armor so say you want to have like you know like a uh, I don't know what are examples these days you know maybe like iron or steel uh, or you know orc or elf I don't know kind of weird metals like that um, or maybe like leather you know hardened leather or boiled leather whatever it's called you know you could you could definitely make an enum that'll kind of help you to uh, do different sort of armor types um, but I'm not gonna do that here I definitely can if you guys want but um, not going to do it right now. So we'll just create a structure, and this will be called F Armor Info. And we'll open that up. And we're just going to add two variables. This first one will be damage rating. Okay. And then um, for the Boolean here, we're going to change it to a float. And we'll add one more, and we'll just call this attach point. So this will be the point that we attach it to. And this will be a name again. Um, so just kind of a, a thing to keep in mind is that any sockets right that you want to add to a skeletal mesh they all take in name variables uh, you know when you're defining what uh, socket you want to attach it to so you know just make sure that you're always using a name for any variables that relate to attaching things to sockets so just kind of a helpful tip I hope um, so next we'll go to our base armor open up the full blueprint and go to variables and we'll say armor info make it editable change the variable type to F armor info so now that we've done that right we'll be able to go into any of our sub you know our child classes here and we should have this new armor info where we can define all this different stuff so I'm actually I'm not gonna do really anything right now because we'll do that in later videos um, but I will go ahead and change the slots here so we'll change this slot because it is a breastplate we'll change it to torso Okay, I'll go to the helmet, change the slot here to head, because it goes in the head. Um, create this light shield. This will go in the primary left hand. Okay. Now we'll go back to our weapons, do kind of the same thing. So I'll take the curved sword. And actually all of these weapons here are going to go into the right hand, at least for our game. Uh, so we'll primary right hand again. But of course, if you're going to do like dual wielding stuff, you might... Um, you can change things up, but I don't know, whatever. So we've done all that. And in the next video, we'll dive more into setting up our equipment system and kind of getting to that. So uh, with that, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.